one for me and one for Noah. There you go. Thanks, babe. <laughs> I think my favorite part of Sundays is everyone just kind of starts off doing their own thing. Also, I'll explain this thing in my hair in a second. So Noah spent all morning watching, what is it called? Uh, Tour de France. Oh, he's playing his video games. He's not a big gamer, except for recently he's kind of gotten into it. Sorry, I can tell I'm like messing up his <laughs> mojo, so I'll go get ready, but enjoy your coffee. Well, thank you, man. <laughs> Honestly, I like this more than my Dyson. I've seen a lot of people who will use these heat-free hair tools on TikTok and Instagram say they don't work, and I found the biggest key is a lot of people are putting it in their hair when it's damp or wet. No. I've noticed, and I have thin hair that typically doesn't hold curls very well. They would fall pretty quickly. These will last me for multiple days. You just have to put it in your hair when it's dry. Boom. And then my go-to hair products are by DPQ. This is the dry texture spray and the touchable hairspray. Just kind of scrunch the curls up. Your hair flips. So I went ahead and did my makeup. I was watching Rylan's vlogs while I was getting it ready and now I want to show you my hair too. I did obviously go through and straighten my bangs a little bit because they get a little crazy when I'm sleeping, but look at this. I have this literally wild. Yeah, you need it. I'm just saying you need it. I will link the one I have below. I think it's like nine bucks and I use it more than any curling iron, any other hair product now. I got this PR box from Rare Beauty. I don't even know how I got on this PR list. Do you see this? I'm definitely gonna have to give some of these away because it's 10 lip liners, 10 lipsticks, and there's there's no way I could use all these. So make sure to look out on Instagram if you want some of these. So I'm gonna try some of these on today. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make sure I'm only trying on shades that I know that I want because I wanna give away at least five of them, maybe more. This is in Lively. Oh, it might be a little too dark for me. We'll see. So different for me. What do we think? I don't know, I kind of like it. Okay, we're finally hanging out. I wanted to show you my little OOTD. I've got these shorts from Abercrombie. Nice little flowy linen shorts. And I've got this top simple purple tank from Zara. Necklace is Kendra Scott. Earrings are Kendra Scott. I've got this chunky little ring I found from Amazon. I got a pack of 10 of these, like a dollar. So cute. My bracelets are little word projects. Little words project. Dopamine dressing, but still very comfortable. We made it to Central Park, we grabbed our sweet green, and we found the cutest spot. There's like no one over here. And look at our little view back there. We always say we're gonna do picnics in the park, and we like never do it, so today's the day. All right, now we got the peach. This what? is yours. Oh, it's mine. Super green goddess. I've never had this before, but we'll see if it's good. It's got beets, sweet potato, cucumber. I added the cucumber, took out the carrots because I'm allergic. And Noah, he got the good one. Oh, peach good and what? One. Peach and goat cheese. Peach and goat cheese. I'm gonna try this out. Oh, it also has broccoli on it. That I kind of regret. I was like, I didn't want spicy broccoli. Is yeah. it? You've had it you before. Can't, you can't really taste it though. Is it like, is it like, what kind of, is it cooked? Yeah, it's cooked. I don't like that. I'd rather be raw. Wish you hadn't told me that. Oh my God, there's a beet. Oh my God, I don't know why I did this. I'm scared. Okay. I'm doing it without the beet first. Okay, that bag was good. Oh, good. Wait, these are beet chips? Uh-huh. Oh. Oh, they're good. I was thinking, I was expecting like big, thick, juicy beet. No, that's good. Okay, ten out of ten. We brought sunflower seeds. There's a little birdie. Pigeons are coming. No! <laughs> Literally, I did it to myself. Like, look at this. <laughs> Bro. That's what they are. They're just a pack of bros. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hate you, pigeon. I just, I'm scared of you. And two hours later, we are heading back home. Walked past a boba shop. I haven't had boba in a while, so I got myself a little treat while we walked home. Just a tea latte with brown sugar, almond milk, and pearls. Yum. No, I didn't get anything. <laughs> Made it home a little while ago. Had a little break on the couch because we were exhausted from the heat. We were out for a while. Now we're gonna do our Sunday cleanup, which we try to do every single Sunday. Sometimes it doesn't happen Sundays, some days it's other, some, sometimes it's other days, but I feel like most Sundays are usually when we do like a little bit of a deep clean. And this is something I have like a love-hate relationship with. I have never naturally loved cleaning, but I do notice how different I feel when I am in a messy house versus a clean house. And my mental health just operates a lot better, especially with my ADHD, when my home is somewhat clean. And I'm actually, something I'm really working on with YouTube when I came back is being honest about that stuff, being like showing life as it is because my first thought was oh my gosh we have to wake up early this morning and clean everything before i pick up the camera because old school me was like no i don't want anyone to see my house messy because i don't want to i don't know just the way you feel when you're on camera and that's what i'm working on is realizing like 
if I'm coming back to YouTube, it's like I want to be honest. I don't want to put so much, I would put so much unnecessary, unnecessary stress and pressure on myself because I thought everything needed to be a certain way and fit like an aesthetic. Probably because of the era that I started with YouTube, everything was so aesthetic and perfect and, you know, curated. So that's something I'm working on is not having to be, show everything perfect because I don't want to pretend that I live, that I live in a house that doesn't look like I live there because we live here and guys, things are, they get messy, okay? This is the reality of today. Everything just kind of tucked away. <sighs> I think my favorite, my favorite thing about Sunday is it's always 50% doing nothing. I'm like a 50% reset kind of Sunday person and a 50% rest kind of Sunday person. So like 50% reset, 50% rest. A good balance, okay? We are waiting for our groceries to get here. We ordered them this morning, but while we wait, we're watching Stranger Things. We're on season two, episode five. We started it last week. We've never watched it and I've just seen everyone talking about it now that the last season or new season is out. I just thought it was a show I wouldn't like, but I was very wrong. It's really good. So we're gonna watch that until- I'm kind of surprised you like it too. Me too, honestly. I just thought, I'm not really into sci-fi stuff, but yeah. this is, it's so good. <laughs> Rooster. <laughs> they both keep running back and forth. Like, hey, do you know that there's something out there, mom? Groceries are here. We used to just kind of buy and guess as we went, but I noticed we would spend so much extra money. We would waste a lot of food and I just, both of those bothered me. We make a meal plan where we decide our breakfast, our lunch, our dinners, and our snacks for the entire week. And that we know we, we know exactly what to buy. We have bread for Noah, gluten-free bread for me. These Yasso Greek yogurt bars, they're so good. We tried like a new flavor almost every single time. These, either this or the skinny cow ones are both really good. Apples, zucchini, some frozen veggies. And we've got our bananas, basil, this is for our pasta sauce we're gonna make this week, lemon and lime, garlic, peanut butter, tomatoes, also from the pasta for the pasta sauce, two cucumbers, I only meant to get one, but that's fine. A whole bag of avocados, I've been really into eating avocado toast lately for breakfast, some pickles, gotta have the puppy pads, obviously. Um, a pretzel snack, I thought these sounded good for like a snack this week. Some broccoli, some Brussels sprouts. Something we really love as a snack is yogurt. We have the two good ones. These are really good and they're low in sugar. Also got two of the Chobani less sugar in the peach and then two of the regular Chobani key lime. These are my favorite. Some falafel mix when we have like a Mediterranean night, bonza pasta, almond milk. And then over here we have our meats, just two things of chicken, some ground chicken. Normally do we do ground turkey, but they're out. Some turkey burgers and two packs of the instant rice. We typically do a, just a big family pack of rice, but these are great for lunches for me if I'm like on the go. We have black beans. This is supposed to be garbanzo beans, but they gave us olives. I don't really eat olives, but I think Noah does, so that's fine. Some water chestnuts, because we're making lettuce wraps this week. Thing of Cokes. I typically am the type of person that says, I'm not gonna buy it, I'm not gonna keep it in the house, because I know that I'll go for it more with things like soda. But I've noticed that I have to go and get a soda. Somebody's got a sweet tooth literally every night. No, I'm still doing my anti-inflammatory <laughs> diet. I have been doing really well with it. I have been doing really well. You have, you have. But, but when it's like nine o'clock at night, she's like, hey, let's just roll down to the bodega. We'll just get one soda, I promise. And then it's the next night, the next night. Okay, 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 <laughs> he's throwing me under the bus. I got a pack of six mini ones. These are all Coke Zero. I typically do Diet Coke, but everyone is telling me that I shouldn't do the Diet Coke and the Coke Zero is better for you. This one is made with zero sugar. I don't know what it's sweetened with. Aspartame, it's the same as Diet Coke. What's the difference? between Diet Coke and Coke Zero. I don't know, but these are smaller, so it's less caffeine, it's not as much. They're Coke Zero, you gotta live a little, okay? So that's basically our grocery haul. Now back to Stranger Things. I'm sorry, you ate my cat. That's all I'm doing is just... <laughs> Get a roost. So even now that I have my Cokes at home, we still end up having a nightly bodega run. So we're gonna make one of our favorite, like at home, healthier desserts is making edible cookie dough that is literally not cookie dough at all. And it's so good and you would not believe how easy it is. But we realized we don't have any toppings like chocolate chips or M&Ms or anything like that. So I know it is right in the bodega just to pick out like some kind of candy. Add your oats to your blender. King oat flour. <laughs> If your sweetener is like a brown sugar or sugar, something that's crystallized, 
And I would go ahead and blend it in with your oats now since they're both dry ingredients. If you're using agave or maple syrup, you could do it later. Add in a pretty big gob of peanut butter. This kind of helps it all stick together. Much bit of full of water. Notice that it wasn't sweet enough, so I didn't do enough brown sugar. So we're just gonna do maple syrup to make it easier. try this. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, it's so good. Okay. Well, that's it.